South Korea will send one of its top officials to China on Wednesday to counter the latest visit by a high-ranking North Korean official to Beijing last week. This is all part of a broader strategy by the South to pressure countries friendly to North Korea. Kim il Gyeon reports. South Korea has rolled out a one-on-one -on -one counter diplomacy plan on the countries North Korea has been trying to cozy up to. Shortly after North Korea's ceremonial head of state Kim Jong-nam visited Equatorial Guinea for talks with President Teodoro Obiang, President Park Geun-hye traveled to Ethiopia, Uganda and Kenya and held discussions with her counterparts. Ten days after North Korea's vice chairman of the Workers' Party of Korea Central Committee Kim Yong-chul visited Cuba to deliver a letter written by Kim Jong-un, South Korea sent its foreign minister Yoon Byung-se to Havana as well, citing diplomatic reasons. This time, it's China. Last week, a North Korean delegation led by Ri Su yong vice chairman of the North Korean Workers' Party Central Committee, went on a three-day visit to China, during which he delivered another letter written by the North's young leader. Shortly after, Seoul's foreign ministry announced that Kim Hong-kyun, its special representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs, will travel to Beijing on Wednesday for talks with his Chinese counterpart, Wu Dai-wei. Seoul's multi-pronged approach is apparently aimed at mounting pressure on North Korea for its recent nuclear and missile provocations. This will add an extra layer of burden to the North Korean regime. It could make North Korea feel uncomfortable approaching things with countries that are still friendly with them. The South Korean envoy is expected to seek feedback on the Chinese government's talks with Ri and exchange views on the North Korean nuclear issue. Prior to his two-day trip to Beijing, Kim will meet with Alain de Roy, the Secretary General of the EU's European External Action Service in Brussels on Monday and Tuesday. Kim Mogyan, Arirang News.